everyone in YouTube land, this is Tony, and this is my week 31 update, and also week 30 because I didn't really do one last week. I, I did a video, but it wasn't about my weight loss. Anyway, so uh, today I'm happy to report I got on the scale, and I was uh, 215 pounds, which is a very good number. I was very happy. Um, last week I was also down two pounds, so the last two weeks I've lost two pounds each. Um, so week 30 I was 217, week 31 215, and that's a total loss of 88 pounds. And uh, an average weight loss uh, from the beginning over the 31 weeks, if you average it all out, uh, of 2.2 pounds per week. So that's a pretty healthy rate. Um, Clothing-wise, I'm wearing uh, 18 pants easily. I went, uh, it's kind of funny, <laughs> I'm supposed to be Christmas shopping, which, you know, I did. I got all the presents, and let me tell you something. When you have six kids, grown kids, they're young people, they're adults now, and then two of them are married, so we've got spouses we're dealing with, and you have a lot of presents to buy, even if you just get a few, you know, things for each person. So... Uh, that kept me really busy. Um, I kind of had a, all sorts of issues I'll get into in a minute, but um, I've been very busy shopping, I'm sure, like everybody else, so I got that done. What was my point on that? God, I have no idea. Oh, I know, shopping. So, <laughs> you know, I keep... Uh, I am a, I am always, every year, I do my Christmas shopping right before Christmas. I'm insane. I understand that. But, uh... <laughs> I kept going out, okay, I've got to buy a present for Elsie, and Chelsea, and Dave, and Will, and Connor, and John, and Erica, and whoever, you know, all the different kids, and I'd go out, and I kept getting drawn, you know, <laughs> mysteriously into the women's clothing department <laughs> at these stores, and um, I am so happy because I once again fit into Old Navy clothes, which I love, and I was able to get myself some really nice blouses, but it's, it's pretty bad, I think Diva... Tanya, you know, always says that her transfer addiction is shopping, and I, I think that's happening here. <laughs> but I just, you know, I missed being able to get things I really liked, so it's just a joy. Absolute. You know, we're supposed to enjoy the holidays. Joy, joy, joy. And <laughs> so I got myself some things. I love it. So I got some beautiful black pants uh, that I'm going to wear on Christmas. Uh, from Old Navy, and they're 18s, and you know what, they're a little bit big, I'm not kidding, I did go to Lane Bryant's, uh, Chubby Bear was talking about this too, I fit in their smallest size, which is a 14, 16, and some of those are kind of big, so that's thrilling, it, That what that means is basically, in another couple months, I'll be able to shop always in the regular, you know, women's department, and that opens up such a huge balance on my credit card, <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll just say that I um, have not been feeling that well. Um, I'm pretty sure my gallbladder is acting up from what I've researched. And I did go to the doctor, uh, just my a regular physician, not, not my bariatric surgeon, who uh, my situation is I paid for my own surgery because I did not want to wait the year and a half that Kaiser wanted me to wait. But otherwise, I'm happy with Kaiser. So I paid for my own, but I go to Kaiser for follow-up. And they're t they've got a really weak bariatric uh, program. So anyway, uh, the regular physician doesn't doesn't know that much about didn't know that my the interns didn't know that much about you know what happens to people after gastric bypass. Um, and you know, I told her well. It, this pain, which is kind of right below my breastbone to the right side of my rib cage, which is kind of this dull, horrible pain, and it radiates around to the back, and it's just kind of always there, and it's worse when I exercise and stuff. It could be an ulcer, or it could be my gallbladder, and I have a feeling it's my gallbladder. I have a girlfriend that had hers out, and we talked quite a bit about it, so. Uh, after the holidays, after Christmas, I'm going to go in and get it uh, sonogrammed or whatever, and I may have to have it out. So I'll, I'll keep you all abreast. But that's been tough because you really it doesn't feel good. It really is hard to um, be active. It's uh, definitely affected my exercise schedule. And on top of that, I've had a cold and a cough. I don't know if you can 
here and it's almost on its way out. But literally that's been happening for the last two weeks. So, not to be a bummer, but I've got a few issues I've got to work with. And you know what? It's worth it. It's still worth it. Um, if I have to, you know, a lot of people get their gallbladders out. In fact, a lot of overweight people um, have to have their gallbladders out. So I think this might happen one way or the other. This just exacerbated it or made it happen sooner. So that's the way it is, right? Um, and maybe a gallbladder weighs like a pound and I'll get, I'll lose about no, <laughs> Anyway, uh, Christmas is going to be a wonderful, joyous occasion because all six of our kids and their spouses and even, um, well, our oldest son, uh, his wife's parents will be here, so we're going to have a house full, um, and Dom's here working. We're going to have a house full on Christmas Eve. It's really a special event when we get all the kids together for a holiday. It's so hard, especially, you know, you guys probably, the older kids get, they have, you know, boyfriends, girlfriends, other families, in-laws, and so to have them all is joyous. And I'm a German girl, so... Christmas Eve is really our biggest night for Christmas, and uh, so we're going to have all German food, I'm going to make rolladen and sausages and potato salad and red cabbage, and we're going to have Christmas stolen, which is German bread, uh, sweet bread, and all sorts of bad, yummy foods. Um, I've done so well, you know, this pouch helps me so much. I don't, I love food still. Um, thank God, for you new people, hope better go over, in the beginning, <coughs> Right after surgery, your taste buds go through this huge like revolution. I don't re I don't know what the right word is, but change. And you go from not liking really anything to having things taste not like much to really you know really really your tastes change. But uh, here I am, a little over seven months out. Um, I had my surgery May 18th of this year. Uh, anyway. And my taste buds are pretty much back to normal. There's some things I still don't like that I liked before and whatever. But um, because of this pouch, I cannot eat more than four ounces. And I'm just stuffed. That's just the way it is. And I love that. So anyway, that's my update. Hope you all have a wonderful, merry, merry Christmas. Uh, if for, for those of you who celebrated Hanukkah, I know that's over. But happy Hanukkah anyway. And... Um, Let's all have a grand new year. Bye, everybody.